<laughs> and you might see John twerk it like my mom. So let's go. So here's the plan. We're going to Mindanao. We're going to central Mindanao to meet with some Muslim religious leaders. After 400 years of conflict between Christians and Muslims in the Philippines, we need to make some serious inroads in friendship so we can build trust and we can start working together for the peace of the southern Philippines and the northern Philippines. So that's what this story is about. But don't get me wrong, this isn't like super intense. We're still going to have a lot of fun. I'm just saying. <laughs> And you might see John twerk it like my mom. Start twerking like Miley. Twerk it like Miley. Start twerking like Miley. Game time. This is my new friend Joshua. This is Gava through the haze. Thank you. I sat beside a guy who was from Mindanao, from North Cotabato, and he said, if you give a message to everyone in Manila, don't be afraid of Mindanao. It's not nearly as bad as the newspaper makes it out to be. So obviously, uh, I'm not crazy when I keep saying the same thing. He's officially here. Start working like Molly. We're here at the most just coffee joint in the Philippines, Coffee for Peace. We own part of this place. We love it. So where are we I'm I'm looking for the best coffee in the Philippines. Do you guys know where I can find it? of brainstorming at Coffee for Peace and hatching how we're gonna transform the next three years of our lives. If you had 10 seconds to tell people what they need to know about Coffee for Peace, what is it? We don't just buy coffee from the farmers, but we help change the communities. You heard it here first. <laughs> One night, and then we're out of here yeah. to North Cotabato. Very homey. 10.35, time to go to bed, get ready for tomorrow. And uh, looking forward to seeing you studs and some other people again. It's really important that Christians and Muslims make friendships and learn to understand each other. Not just religiously, but understand each other's context politically. Where do they come from? Why do they... Why do they believe what they believe? What's affecting their, their thoughts and their background? And so tomorrow is going to be a good day to explore all of those things here in Mindanao. The place that so many people are afraid of because they think it's violent. But tomorrow we're going to show there's good friends to be found here. Even in places that people are afraid of and they think is so violent. So stay tuned for tomorrow. <laughs>